So Kevin, finished off the Premier Sports Cup Group A campaign in style with a 3-1 win here today. Ah, it was a terrific performance. Um, and I can feel for the boys, you know, there was a lot of current and former professional footballers in there trying to do math, which doesn't be very good at the end of the game. Uh, but, you know, we've come up a wee bit short. Our other teams have found a wee bit on us, you know. I wouldn't like to say we've come up a wee bit short having, you know, won two games outright and won a penalty show against a championship side. So it's been a terrific wee a mini campaign for us and it's a, it is a real mini success, but, it, you know, it doesn't really mean it in the bigger picture. We can, what we can take is great confidence and, and uh, you know, a real positivity going forward from the performances because it has been good, you know, it's not just been the results, the, the actual gameplay has been really good. I thought in the first half today some of the forward going play was scintillating, um, we could have had more, um, but you know, against ball were maybe a wee bit raggy at times, but you've got to give credit to the opposition as well and they found a way to, to sort of get themselves back in the game almost immediately, um, but you know, very, very happy. Two goals from corners today in the first half. It's something we've been aware of, you know, as a, a management team and, and uh, the players. Um, last season it, it took until the last four games or five games, I think, then we get we get two or three goals for set plays, you know, this season we've started the other way, you know, and I, and I always feel that these things come in waves, you know, sometimes you get, you can see for set plays and other times you score for them, other times you don't get much joy either way, so uh, it's one of these things, but terrific to see Big Jojo getting his goal there, I think he's deserved that over the piece, you know, a few games in the, the Premier Cup, he's been outstanding and obviously Martin, you know, Martin's brought because of that is one of his assets and he's managed to pick up one as well, but overall, you know, it, it, just terrific, really, really pleasing. And uh, throughout the first half we've seen uh, a, a, some searching balls for Dale Carrick and he had uh, some excellent pace on him and excellent strength to, to go and nick the ball off the defender and maybe create a chance. Aye, you know, listen, we, we, as the season goes we hope we're going to come up against no easier opposition, I don't, I don't want to disrespect anybody we're going to play but we're hoping maybe to be on top of games a bit more advanced as a team on the park which will allow Dylan and, and Dale to maybe do more productive work closer to goal but I mean you could see Dylan in the first half won a big majority of his headers you know and he was holding the ball in terrifically well he had a lovely ball down here on this right side to, to put Geeks in for a chance that Jack had um, and you're right Dale turned a lot of 50-50 balls into his favour because he used his pace and his, his game knowledge to get there but then he showed the strength that he's got as well to hold it in but as I say I, I could go through them all the subs that come on were terrific um, it was a, just a, a real good team performance and that's a, that's a strong performance against a very good side you know and we've got to take confidence from it um, but you know, it, as I say, it will mean nothing at three o'clock next week. Um, it's the board's appeal, it's scratch, everybody's starting next Saturday in the league campaigns and, you know, like everybody else, you know, we'll be looking to start on a positive footing, but it's a it's a difficult start, you know, a way to a club reinvigorated by the, a new manager and a, a new squad and, you know, the recruitment's been strong and, you know, but even looking beyond that, the start of the league, three away games in the first four is going to be tough, you know, but... That's what that's what that's what this is all about, you know, to, to come through these tough patches and and as I say, you know, find yourself in the hierarchy of the league and hopefully stay there. And Jack Leach grabbed the third with an excellent volley as well. Very sweet for him, I'm sure. Against your ex club, you know, it's always sweet. I, I wasn't lucky enough. I don't know. I wasn't lucky enough to score. Never mind against my former clubs. But uh, no, it'll be a wee sweet moment for Jack. But uh, you know, Jack speaks very fondly. Uh, you know, everybody up here, the management team and and the club. So you know, I, I'm sure. You know, he'll, he'll have a real smile and happiness with him, but you know, he showed a bit of class, you know, he didn't over celebrate it, and, but it was a terrific strike, and, and he's deserved that, you know, he's been very on the hook the bar at Inverness, he did a great save from him here in the first half, yeah, um, he was unlucky a couple of times at Cove as well, you know, I think the keeper flicked one onto the post, so that goal's been coming for him, and I'm delighted for him that he's off and running as well, so, um, terrific. And you've already uh, touched on it a little bit, but it, it, it sets up, up it sets us up really nicely for next week's well first league game and actually a derby against Dennis Rio. Aye, aye, it does. You know, and as I say, the players have got to take great confidence for what they've done. Um, we've not achieved anything tangible, but there's there's many achievements, there's many victories within every game you play, and and we can now go away and, and review the the Premier Cup campaign in a positive note. You know, and there's just no many negatives to come away with. You know. Um, you know, negatives maybe being a couple of injuries that we picked up, but n hopefully nothing too serious. So, but we'll, you know, we'll go forward with it, and as I say, we can get into next Saturday full of confidence, play with a bit of freedom, express ourselves, and 
it'll be a tough, tough game. Derby will be 100 mile an hour, there'll be tackles flying in, there'll be sure to be goals every time we play Steny, there seems to be goals involved, so I'm looking forward to it, you know, and I'm, I'm sure they will be as well. Thanks very much, Kevin. Thanks, Ben, all the best.